In the summer of 1976, this elaborate Fort Worth mansion owned by oil tycoon Colin Davis was the scene of one of the most notorious murder cases in Texas. 12-year-old Andrea Wilborn and former TCU basketball player 30-year-old Stan Farr were killed. My brother Kenneth called me in the middle of the night where I was living and uh, told me that there was a shooting. WFAA sat down with Cullen in 2016. My brother said they think you did it. Fast forward 45 years. The mansion on South Hewlin Street will be demolished. I grew up right across the railroad track, so I remember seeing the mansion being built. Bud Kennedy is a columnist for the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Suddenly there were these killings that became the mansion murders and became this uh, series of of uh, spectacular trials. Wilborn was the daughter of Davis's estranged wife, Priscilla Davis. Farr was Priscilla's boyfriend who was staying at the home on the night of the murder. Witnesses told police a man wearing a wig went into the mansion and shot and killed Wilborn and Farr. He also shot Priscilla and Gus Gravel, a visitor in the home. They both survived. Davis was arrested for the shootings and was later acquitted in two trials. The Stonegate Mansion has been locked for over a year now, and there have been several owners throughout the years. This was once a steakhouse. It was a Tex-Mex restaurant. It was a church. And most recently, it's been a wedding venue. It's kind of run out of its useful time. It doesn't have... Uh, the disability access anymore and it has some asbestos. And the story behind the infamous mansion lives on. No, it had nothing to do with it. The big question is, what will the owners build? Possibly a retirement tower, possibly an office tower to garden homes? A lot of unknowns, but demolition is expected to start in one year. We're in Fort Worth, I'm Molly Basu.